Hey guys, welcome to your 38th Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be going over method overwriting. Alright, to begin, create a new project. Control shift N. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it's Alt Shift, my bad. And we're going to name this Java Lesson 39, I mean 38. We're going to add a package com.devclub. We'll click on 38, click on that, click on com.devclub.lesson38, hit OK. Inside here we're going to add a class and we're going to call this main. Hit OK. Reformat that as main. Alright. Above this class, let's declare a new class. And what we're going to do is say class A. And in here, we're going to say int i j. And we're going to say a int a int b. And we're going to say i equals a then j equals b. Then we're going to end that class. Um, I lied. We're going to display i and j. So we're going to say void show. And we're going to say System dot out dot print line I and J I and J. Now we're going to say class class B extends A. And what we're going to say is a k. So we're going to say b int a int b int c. And we're going to say super a and b. So calling back to our super class, and then we're setting say k equals a c. And now we're going to display. Um, K. Now, display K is actually going overrides what we have set up in A. So void show. Then okay, get system dot out dot print line. K equals K and then give yourself semicolon. Alright. Now we're actually going to build our main method, so click in um, our class main, public static void main, string args, and inside of here we're going to say B sub object equals new b123 and we're going to call sub object dot show this calls show in p we're just going to run this and then we're going to edit it a little bit so it shows all the instance variables so what we're going to do is go back to this method where we have the super I mean the, the show when the B extends A and what we're going to do is we're going to type super show then what we're going to do is we're going to run it. This actually shows all the variables. Alright guys this is a really short tutorial 
but in our next tutorial we're going to be talking about overridden methods using polymorphism. So we're going to apply what we learned here, but in a different way. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial.